Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. Tonight I'm going to make a clay pot chicken rice. Uh, it's a very famous uh, street food in Malaysia. And of course, today I'm going to teach you how to do it at home. Because if you want to do it the way the street food <coughs> people do it, then what they normally do is they will get a clay pot, they will cook the rice halfway, and then after the cooking the rice halfway, they will add in the marinated chicken and cook rice chicken at the same time and finish cooking everything at the same time. Now, and most of them they are using charcoal. Now, um, at home it is very difficult to achieve that because um, the time the stove that we use are different and the cooking time of the rice and the chicken if you want to make them cook at the same time extremely difficult i can probably i can teach you how i did it even but uh, you will if you follow my way at home you will not be able to do it because you have a separate different stove and different equipment so today i'm going to teach a, a, a zero failure method okay which some of you may not like it may may say this is not authentic but eventually it will taste as good yeah my family loves this whenever i do it um, first of all i don't have a clay pot like many families we don't have uh, we don't have a clay pot at home so i'm going to use a cast iron pot for this particular dish and then i uh, pre-cook uh, two cups of white rice here i always steam my rice this is why you see my you will notice my rice actually comes in uh, this container this is uh, by steam Usually when I cook for uh, not many people, yeah, uh, steaming is better. Uh, other, that, other than that, let's look at, uh, this is some, uh, uh, some chicken here, cut into small pieces. Okay, and marinate with a little bit of uh, saucing wine and uh, light soy sauce. Okay, um, then... I have some soaked shiitake mushroom cut into thin slices like this. Okay, not too thin because we want to we, we want some mouth feel, yeah, some bite feel from it. And then this is uh, uh bentong ginger. As you notice, you will see a bit of bluish here. Okay, all this bluish is telling you this is a uh, authentic bentong ginger. Of course, you can use any old ginger you like. Up to you, no problem. Uh, bentong ginger is more flavorful to my own preference. And this is a Chinese sausage. Usually, um, it is wrapped with a very thin layer of um, intestines, actually. Yeah, it's uh, intestine. And some people doesn't like the intestine. You can remove it by soaking it under water for a couple of minutes. Then it's very easy to tear out the, the outer layer. So usually, I will, I will tear it out because my family doesn't like it, even though I personally like it. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I have some uh, two uh, two spoonful or uh, tablespoon of uh, chopped garlic here, and some salted fish. Yeah, this is actually the uh, Mui Hyung salted fish, one of the best salted fish you can find in Malaysia. So, what we are going to do is you cook the rice separately, cook the chicken separately. Uh, you can pan fry this a little bit and join these few things together. That's it, zero failure, you won't fail. Okay, so uh, let's start cooking. Okay, I'm going to quickly pan fry my Chinese sausage to give it extra flavor. Okay, I'm just going to pan fry like this for about a minute or two, then I'm going to take out the, uh, remove it from the wok. Okay, be careful not to uh, burn your Chinese sausage, yeah? Just a minute or two, we'll come back shortly. Okay, when you start seeing your Chinese sausage started to turn color and uh, get a bit uh, char, that's the time you can actually take it out. Remove it and put to the to the side. Okay, put a bit more oil. I'm going to 
saute our ginger. I'm a ginger person, so I always put a lot of ginger. Okay. Also to bring the flavor, to help to bring the flavor out from the shiitake mushroom, I'm going to put in the shiitake mushroom first. Shiitake mushroom, when in um, in contact with hot oil, it, the, the strong flavor will actually release. Okay, you can actually start smelling all the nice fragrance from these two ingredients. Then I'm putting in my garlic, chopped garlic. Right, followed by my marinated chicken by using light soy sauce and sauteing wine. Super fragrant. Okay, I'm going to uh, do some seasoning right now, so I'm going to off the fire first. I'm going to put in some lo oyster sauce, about one to two tablespoon. Okay, some uh, light soy sauce. About two tablespoon, saucing wine, one full uh, cup. Yeah, this cup, the cover cup. Then I turn the fire back on. Oh, I almost forgot my dark soy sauce. Give it some nice caramelized color, some two tablespoons. Ooh, it starts to look very good. Yes, this is exactly the color we want. Okay, and we will need some uh, gravy for the rice and the, gra the gravy will come from this chicken. I'm going to add in the shiitake mushroom water. The water I used to soak my shiitake mushroom just now, okay? Or you can use hot water, just put some hot water inside, yeah? Okay. okay, it is now boiling. Don't waste the garlic. Okay, so I'm going to uh, let it uh, turn down the fire to uh, medium low. Turn out the fire to medium low, then I'm going to close this lid and let it cool for about 10 minutes. Yeah, then we will come back. Yeah? Medium low. We will come back shortly. Okay, this is about <coughs> close to 10 minutes of uh, simmering under medium low heat. Take note that some uh, uh, 
dark soya sauce may not be as dark so you may need to put more dark soya sauce yeah so uh, you should control on your side okay all the ingredient here is definitely fully cooked and with some broth that's exact yeah this is the broth that we want just nice to flavor our rice later yeah so we can just do a bit of finer seasoning here with some salt a bit of a bit of salt and also sugar right pinch of salt and pinch of sugar and some white pepper give it a few stir okay and this and the chicken is done so let's combine <coughs> the few items together off the fire okay so we have the chicken the chinese sausage and we have the salted egg oh sorry salted fish if you don't like so some people doesn't like salted fish so you it's optional don't worry there's no law in Appa's kitchen okay of course you want to wash your pot nicely you can use ceramic pot also okay so first of all i'm going to add in some uh, this is my uh, homemade garlic oil oh suddenly cannot open forget it too tight ah. i'm just going to put in some vegetable oil okay so a thin layer very thin layer at the bottom okay then you want to add in the rice I always steam my rice because uh, number one we don't have so many family members at home so steam rice is so much uh, more faster you only take about 15 minutes and you don't get the wastage yeah see the bottom of it you don't get any wastage you sometimes you use the rice cooker uh, to cook a little bit of rice then you will have one thin layer a crust form yeah at the bottom by steaming you won't have this problem okay mm. the dry is the rice is a little bit on the dry side today but it's okay I have some broth just nice okay do an evenly spread uh, rice Follow with uh, the chicken. Let me get another. Like this. Of course, at the street side, you don't get to see so much. They don't put so much chicken and uh, mushroom for you. But since we are cooking at home, we don't mind giving a bit more, yeah? That's the beauty of home cooking, isn't it? Okay. Then our Chinese sausage at one side. Alright, then don't forgetting our nice gravy. This is going to taste so good because of the gravy. Alright, 
Then not forgetting our this is the uh, salted fish, Mui Hyung salted fish. Okay. Uh, give it a thin layer of white pepper. Few special for white pepper here. Do I want to add an egg? Let me add an egg. Okay, this is optional, but I have just break an egg. Yeah, I'm taking out the egg yolk and put on top. Okay. Let's cook this for a minute or two. Okay, I'm putting it uh, on the stove. Uh, give it a medium, medium high uh, fire. Can you hear the seasoning? Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to uh, let it cook for about one minute. Sizzle for about one minute. That will, uh, will help to build a little bit of crust, uh, burn crust at the bottom. Yeah, exactly like how you uh, get it uh, outside at the street food. Yeah? Okay, but uh, don't cook for too too long. A minute or a maximum two minutes is more than enough. Actually, one minute is enough. Okay. All right, this is one minute. Wow, you start seeing uh, some fragrance coming up. The the egg is still raw. Yes, exactly what we wanted. Later, when we mix everything together, uh, the egg is going to give you some uh, nice uh, eggy flavor. Uh, of course, the egg is actually, uh, I would say, it is not very common, but I don't mind putting it. Yeah, it's up to you. It's definitely optional. Okay, I'm going to off the fire and it's ready to be served. Okay, so here's my uh, chicken rice, clay pot chicken rice. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking About Facebook fan page, you click like and follow button. If you, uh, And uh, hope you enjoyed your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.